So all of you may have a basic understanding about my life episode throughout these 18 years. I admit I'm not a good boy at all. When I was studying in elementary school, neither could I stay put in the seat, nor could I have a long attention span. I must keep pocket with my classmates, or I felt in At that time, my teachers often punished me to stand outside the classroom, which turned out to be the happy hour for me. I could stretch out my arms and enjoy the scenic beauty outside the classroom. Therefore, it is my curiosity about the things in my surroundings, however trivial, leads to my passion for traveling. Although nowadays I still sleep in class from time to time. But regarding traveling, money is a major problem. One way to satisfy my need to have little adventures back in Macau was traveling by bus. Bus service in Macau was convenient and its fare was unreasonably cheap. So it was no surprise that it was the only way I could afford. Moreover, my family was so poor that I hadn't been brought to any places further than 100 kilometers from my home until I entered junior high school. A new adventure and wonderful story began. I studied in a new high school. Thanks to my math talent, it calculated by solving how much nickels and dimes I used each time. For my small street, I was chosen to be one of the representatives of Macau to attend a mathematics uh, competition held in Nanjing. Instead of saying precious life, I've learned a lot of math knowledge through this competition. I would say, I went there just for fun and games. Wow, the distance between Nanjing and Macau is 1,200 kilometers. I made a change. For the next few years till graduation from senior high school, every year I've got a chance or two flying abroad farther and farther in the name of Macau representatives. When I was in the eighth grade, I've been to Seoul, <coughs> tenth grade Los Angeles, and twelfth grade Copenhagen. Every time, although I feel tired after receiving the long trip schedule, heading for a new place provide me with excitement and reflection. Imagine everything, everything is new. The people, the language, the currency and cuisine, the food and food. You have been to a totally different world, though you know you step on the same road. I suffer from culture shock every time. But once I closed eyes at the end of each trip, every piece of unique puzzle I collect throughout the trip suddenly springs to life and forms a beautiful picture. Every trip gives me a lot of time and energy, but regarding this invaluable experience, it's worth it. Among all the places I visited, Copenhagen is my favorite. As you know, Denmark is one of the wealthiest and happiest countries in the world, so I expect that everything would be great. It turned out that, yes, things were wonderful in Copenhagen, but there were other reasons. The goods were expensive, and a Big Mac combo would cost you 350 NT dollars. The main part was, the richness of the Danish did not lie in their sufficient material, but in their mental fulfillment. They had short working hours, so life to them, in my opinion, was a thing to enjoy, but not to exhaust. There were large parks, <coughs> larger than the Da Arm Forest Park, in which people gather, <coughs> relax, and play games. The games they were playing, for a person who was used to playing in games with a smartphone like me, were actually boring. However, the close relationship between people and the slow but meaningful pace of life attracted me a lot. I did some reflections on my life and asked myself what on earth the definition of happiness was. 
the answers to these fundamental and open questions I discovered can be found in the course of Heaven of Freedom. Our lives, after all, consist of different trips, which are full of fun and surprise. I admit that I love trouble. How about you? Yeah. Hold master of the evening. <laughs>